Hey guys, this is Sam, and I actually did not plan on making a second video today, but I felt it was necessary to talk about what Apple pushed out today, because that would be the very first beta to iOS 8.2, and of course I love talking about updates for all of you guys here on my channel, so make sure you are subscribed in case you haven't already. But that's right, almost a month after iOS 8.1 was released on the 20th of October, today is the 18th of November, We've already got a rather marginal upgrade to iOS because this isn't iOS 8.1.2 that came out in beta form at least, but they've switched to a whole new naming scheme, 8.1, 8.2, and I believe there's even rumored to possibly be an 8.3 at some point, which is just crazy. I can't even think of iOS in point three updates like the Mac does. Regardless, we haven't seen a point two update since at least iOS 4 with, I believe, iOS 4.2 maybe iOS 5, and of course there was no iOS 6.2 or iOS 7.2 to date, and there probably never will be, and that'd be very odd to release an older firmware with a point two update. But talking about what's new in this update, there's nothing really big on the user end of things. Really, iOS 8.2 is only so that developers can test their apps with WatchKit, which is now baked right on into iOS 8.2. So I assume, and I'm going out on a limb here, but I would assume that if Apple is putting WatchKit baked on into iOS 8.2, that this would be released either launch day or extremely close to when the Apple Watch launches itself, because that would make sense. If you're putting a specific feature for a new specific device in iOS, you would probably want to release that when that device is coming out. And the Apple Watch is indeed rumored to launch in the spring of 2015, which would fit in with the early 2015 range that Apple gave us at, I believe, the September keynote of 2014. But I'm excited because iOS 8.2 may not have brought any real changes for us just yet, but it's definitely incorporating some things, almost creating the perfect storm for an awesome Apple Watch release because developers months in advance can start building apps for this device, and it's going to be so awesome. I am totally excited if you are just as hyped up as me definitely let me know down below in the comment section if you're going to be getting an Apple Watch, what you think, just are you excited, plain and simple. And that's really all there is to talk about regarding 8.2. If you did enjoy the video, feel free to give it a thumbs up right down below. And of course, while you're down there, go ahead and click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future uploads regarding the Apple Watch or iOS 8.2. This has been Sam with iUpdateOS, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.